Hello and welcome to Complete Games and I'm back with some more Ark Ascended as promised. We're going to be doing a build video today but while I'm doing that I'm also going to go over some of the problems that we've now encountered after having this server running for a, a couple of days and I've gone into single player to practice this build in the hope that uh, I can kind of talk you through all of that while doing the build. But first off, now this I've stumbled across. Now wildcard, I would like some brown dye for this build. Now I don't have an industrial forge at the moment and I love how they've broken down all of the colors. So we can just go in here, brown, and you can see I've got everything that I need in my cooking pot. So if we just light the fire, only problem is it's trying to craft every single berry and color, which means inevitably I'm just going to be left with the five that it picks out at the start. So actually trying to get brown, yeah, I can't do that. And if I do do it with an industrial forge, I need to put thousands of berries in there. And being that you restrict berries in, well, we've managed to manipulate it so we can stack it to a thousand, but oh, that's a whole not oh. Oh, right, okay. This is going to be a rant video, everybody, as well. Uh, but I hope you enjoy the build. And I have practiced the build. As long as you get the first part right, then this build is going to apply to um, Ark Survival Evolved as, as well. So we're just going to place it over here. And I need to clear some space out, really, to get this done. So a little stable build. And I think it's necessary to have round here. The crew have been making a mess. Okay, just remain calm, James. Now we're ready to do a beautiful stable build. And look at it. It does look beautiful. Okay, so it is important that we get the foundations right. And we're going to start with six foundations. And I'm going to use that rock at the back there just as a guide. Because I know that that's kind of like the halfway point of this little peninsula on the horseshoe of Herbie Island. So we've got six there and uh, we're going to use the triangle foundations now and I want to come out seven at the back and five at the front. Now if you've ever watched any of my build guides before I'm always saying that of course symmetry goes without saying but always work in odd numbers. So seven at the back, five at the front like so and I'll just get some more. Yeah, odd numbers always tend to work out and make things look more, a little bit more natural if you can. In my experience now, I'm not a master builder, but I do get the odd occasional car kind comment saying, hey, how did you do that? But <laughs> I build with a lot of, you know, really good builders and trust me, I'm not, I'm not good. But you can do this one. If I can do this one, you can do this one. So seven at the back and five at the front. When it comes to Arc Ascended, it's, it's only important that you get this little bit right. So we've got, there we go. So I've put four foundations down at this end and another four down at this end. And I know at the moment it looks kind of like the Star Wars Republic sign, but trust me, it'll all come together in the end. As long as you got this part right, uh, you should be golden. There we go. So four foundations on each end. And as you can see here, we get our selections at the top. Now, this is a great implementation. Now, these sort of things that I'm finding with Ark Survival Ascended tell me that somebody who actually plays the game has sat down and thought, hey, we can improve that bit. And I'm not going to demonstrate this very well because I'm still getting round the building. I know that if I press Q, I can rotate on a different axis and it's more snappier, it's more fluid and I'm liking the improvements. To the building, I'm liking how placement is working and I, I think I'm going to be able to demonstrate that at least as we go through what we're doing here. In fact, I've just got the walls here so here's a good point. We've actually got all of the options, including door frames, windows, hatches, and we don't have to craft all of them separate things. We can select it. And uh, I'm just using E to flip it. I think I heard that I dropped another wall there, but 
Oh, my mind's playing on me. And again, just E to flip and R to rotate. So as you can see, we don't actually need to make a door frame anymore. It's just the walls. And I like that. That's that's kind of a good quality of life improvement because, you know, having to craft separate lefts and rights and all of these different bits, it just slows you down in the end. So I like that touch. And it's things like that that you come across that, that makes me feel, hey, Somebody who plays it, somebody who loves it, has come along and said we can improve it. And that is an improvement. I'm just not doing a very good job of showing that. So, now obviously we've been playing it, we've had a lot of problems. And uh, we're not the only ones. You only really have to go on the Steam forums to demonstrate that. And, in fact... Um, going to put this down <laughs> and we're in fact let's do that let's just jump across to steam right now and check out the reviews so i think what we on day three of its release couldn't get the server up and running until a couple of days ago but you can see steam reviews are mixed at best barely works uh, crashes every 10 seconds and runs about 10 frames a second arc is back baby i like that one in fact actually you sir are getting an award pank well done um i think we will give you what we will give you for that uh, you can have it gotta have it yeah you gotta have it because even though it runs like an asthmatic hippo if you've got the uh graphics card to be able to do it of course you, you know you're going to want to experience it um you know and uh what we got here um absolutely disgusting awful trash i will play 2k hours of it <laughs> oh yes give that man a round of applause cinder man round of applause from complete games yep yeah, i mean that's the mixed steam reviews <laughs> let's talk about some positives positives for this game and oh well i'm just putting some double doors down uh yeah double doors just here <laughs> This is supposed to be a build guide, James, come on. Um, <laughs> the, I like the fact that you can change the walls to double door frames. So, you know, it looked like I was kind of planning this all along. <laughs> but really what I need to do is create a couple of new snap points and I'm kind of making a mess of this. So, yeah, so the crew have been having some problems. There's nothing spawning in caves properly. Um, and at the end of the video, I'm just going to show you some logs from the server with things happening. And of course, I didn't actually even touch upon it because I'm more of an entertainment channel. Well, I tried to do guides and, and make things entertaining. And uh, it didn't take me long to be able to get some cool cinematic footage and just put something roughly together. And I don't want to pull, the thing is, I don't want to pull the wall over any of my viewers' eyes here. We are, or I am, unquestionably beta testing this game. There has been no stress testing done. Made no, no mistake about it. No stress testing has been done on this game. And um, we basically had to copy settings from my previous server uh, onto the Nitrendo server, which is another problem altogether. Just using the Argent. If you press X on the Argent, you hit the brakes. And sometimes, you know, if you're not wanting to build scaffolding, this is a way to get around it. Um, as you can see here, we're just going to create the different roof angles if I can it's probably easier if I land I am making a mess of this because with the new snap axis I know I can do this better I'm just there we go. yeah I'm just stubborn I'm stuck in my own ways I think I can I can feel that this is an improvement I'm just making it look like it's not but there you go look hit q i can change the angles you don't actually need to point the camera quite like i am it's just it's difficult to describe only it's just going to take me a little while just to get used to it but i already know i can and everything is clipping in it's just going through the the other roof like i need it to and i haven't had to put any 
foundations down, any fence posts or anything to be able to do this. So building wise, you know, this is really good. Again, we as a group now, we've started to get to the mid game. Now, the thing is as well, when, when I play with the crew, when you play with your friends, I can play with the crew. I could play Pictionary and not get bored. We, we could do, um, yeah, <laughs> we could do one of them web browser games and games are always more fun uh, when you're playing with your friends and stuff. So that obviously translates into my videos when, you know, when we're having a laugh and we have had fun and day one has been fun. It, eventually arc or arc ascended is going to be great i can see that but you know i feel it necessary to warn you that that right now you're, you're beta testing the game and as for trying to actually make it i think i made my statement to say yes it's in a playable state if you have 30 if you have a if you have a 3080 graphics card you know you're going to be able to enjoy the graphics and anything higher than that obviously you're going to be able to enjoy the graphics um did i mention that i'm trying to put a roof on the front okay so i've just come out <laughs> with some um flat ceiling here just because i feel like giving this an extension and again everything come on james just hit q there we go. So you can circle through all of these angles here without moving the screen. And I need to get used to that mechanic. As you can see, that's a lot simpler. And oh, oh there's still <laughs> there's still the arc frustrations. We, we've we and the crew have managed to get into some of the mid game stuff now. Like I say, things are not spawning in the caves and just come down with the post and I don't know if you noticed there but I could just snap the post to the top but I can also snap it to the bottom now and again no fence foundations necessary in fact check this out you know you always had to place a fence foundation to snap to the outside but now you know and it's these little details here that can really just add that finishing touch to a build now, this one had me puzzled for a bit. I couldn't find uh, the railings, but it's under the quarter post. And that's what the new fence looks like. And you can just stack them. You don't need a fence. Well, it's on a foundation. Um, but again, I like that you can stack things. That is also a plus. Uh, I had to come up with a plus. I've done plenty of plenty of moaning, and there's more to come. Trust me, I've got more moaning to do. I want to bring this stairs out further. And again, you can just rotate through them, find the one you're looking for. There we go. Okay, so somewhere a little stable for the dinos. Let's go and fill it up. Okay, so I've managed to get the stables done. I don't know if that build <laughs> was going to be relevant because it was more of a rant but hey the crew got some space to put their utility dinos in and i'll put some feeding troughs down and yeah it just helps tidy up the base and i figured that if you're playing arc ascended then you know chances are you haven't got cryopods you're gonna have a few tames laying around perhaps something like this you know might help it'll certainly help on herbie island to stop as many brontos spawning over this side and you know the more structures you put down the more it affects that now this talk about the nightmare of running this particular server now we, of course we are like everyone else we have to rent one from nitrendo now that's it we've they've got the monopoly on it and as a customer i have no choice so i've I've used my server provider for years um, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. I wouldn't recommend them to you guys if, if I didn't, but we have no choice with, with this one. Now, upon going on into this server, we discovered that the actual file for all of the settings was completely empty. That, that it was blank, a blank page. Now, <laughs> we, we managed to bodge it by using numbers from my current, well, my old server and my current server at the moment 
and uh, we've managed to, to get it running, but you, you'll probably notice, and I'll just put these numbers in front of your screen now, every time we start the server, this is happening. We are getting major, major failures on spawns, and I can't show you all of this documents or whatever because uh, people's IPs come up and stuff. But anyway, as you can see, this is just on a boot, but then it happens when we get logs and it is happening all of the time. It's failing. So essentially creatures, we don't know, they're probably dropping through the map and evidence would suggest that that might be happening um, if, it, if it kills them because we've been breeding dinosaurs saws as well. And the babies have been dropping through the map and then there's no way to kind of rectify that so that's that is a problem upon many many other problems it's kind of a mixed bag here a mixed bag obviously the game looks beautiful but at its price forty dollars forty dollars um yeah it's a bit much We've also got, yeah, well, you can ping everybody. You see, there's improvements. There's quality of life improvements. I can ping people. The map, I like all of that stuff, but there's problems. And, um, yeah, I'm going to give you a proper review in a couple of weeks' time. I've got to play it for a little bit of time now and, and just give them the benefit of the doubt for a couple of weeks that maybe they can fix it. But in its current state, well, if you're getting it, you'll be a test in it. End of. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.